This is Maine, in the northeast of America, and I'm here to visit How & How Technologies, a company specialising in designing and building armoured and military-grade vehicles. I'm going to get a privileged peek at some of the machines that the public don't get to see. Hi there, guys. Company founders, twins Mike and Jeff Howe, were going to show me their latest rugged creations. Basically, your day is going to be packed with fun and adrenaline. And it started with a drive to the test site. This is 800 brake horsepower of iconic muscle car, a Chevrolet Camaro that the boys have customised for their commute to work. This thing growls at you. I don't actually think he drove in a straight line once. I think it was either kind of donuting, drifting, whatever you want to call it, but a great way to wake me up first thing in the morning and prepare me for what I was about to see. And that kind of gets us going in the morning. As you can see, I'm shaking a little bit. Uh -huh. This always gets the blood flowing real nice in the morning. But this right here, welcome to the SWAT bot. The SWAT bot is the world's first mid-sized tactical response robot that serves as a ballistic shield, providing protective cover from gunfire and explosives. This is called Dyneema. It's 2.4 pounds per square foot. So we're able to shave weight, and this is literally the latest out there. It can also be adapted to bridge doors, remove suspect vehicles, and debris that may contain an improvised explosive device, or IED. It pulls almost twice its weight. With supervision from the boys, I got to play Robot Master and demonstrate how this little bot could be used to remove a suspect vehicle. That's just a little fun. That well, car has seen better days, hasn't yeah. it? So we have one more surprise for you. It's okay. another robot we, we basically developed for the firefighters. These guys put their lives on the line too. Mike and Jeff were intent on giving me a sensory overload and they definitely turned up the heat with their next creation. Oleana, uh -huh. welcome to the Bulldog. The Bulldog RS1 is a firefighting pumper truck that can carry up to 11,000 gallons of water. Its robust, rugged build is designed to cope with the toughest of terrains. You didn't think we were going to have a small fire truck, did you? I didn't think the wheels would be nearly as tall as me. <laughs> you need to get out to where the fires are sometimes. Uh -huh. And to get to nuclear disasters, natural disasters, earthquakes, you're going to need a truck to get it in there. And the Bulldog houses a gorgeous little robot called the Thermite. It reminds me of an oversized Wally. The Thermite is a firefighting robot that allows emergency teams to tackle dangerous blazes from hazardous substances from a safe distance. They set debris on fire and then they let me put the robot in place and hose the fire out. Perfect. Yep. Right there? All right. yep. Now you can, turn, you can actually turn the robot off. Now you're going to focus on the actual nozzle. So you bring it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, it's so a little bit just on the left. Let me put that bit out. There, there you go. go. Exactly. Now you're talking. Yep. And once again, you're not there. We're now in a mobile command center a half mile away. All this is done remotely. So you've seen two of our things. Uh-huh. There's one more. Oh my word. That is a monster. Riptide is an amphibious all-terrain vehicle and with a top speed of 74 miles per hour, it's one of the fastest tanks in the world. It can be manned or operated remotely and can be adapted for tactical operations in combat. It's even starred in its own Hollywood blockbuster, G.I. Joe 2, with movie hardman The Rock at the controls. It's equipped with about 800 horsepower. This right here is our underwater propulsion. Yep. Dual jet drives pushing out volumes, 2,000 to 4,000 pounds of thrust in each, each jet drive. This is our suspension design. It's called a dual acting dog leg bogey beam. We can lower the vehicle. Ah, up. so in the water it needs to be more streamlined. So exactly. you make the tracks in line with yep, the rest of the tank. Up. Exactly, so we increase, we increase our, our water speed. Right. So. The tech on this vehicle is truly remarkable. All that was left is to get taken on a rip-roaring ride. I'd obviously seen it at some speed as it drove towards me, but nothing prepared me for what Mike was about to show me. Straight back out of the water, back over bridges, over logs, a little bit of a bumpy ride. 
a lot of fun. With Mike at the helm, Riptide tore up the terrain. In fact, Mike pushed it so hard, he broke it. What's that all about? <laughs> the best camcorder ever made. What better way to find out than for the entire Gadget Show team to even have to put a finger to the keyboard? Video link has well and truly arrived. Here's how to get started.